fecal microbiota transplants eliminated recurrent Clostridium difficile infections in 91% of patients. The findings were presented at the annual meeting of the American College of Gastroenterology. Fecal microbiota transplantation, which I'll refer to as FMT, it's a little easier to say, uh, has been around for a good while and has been shown to be effective, but for the most part the studies have been a single center a case series with limited follow-up. And so what we did was we performed a multi-center uh, uh, study with long-term follow-up from five geographically disparate areas in the United States uh, using colonoscopic FMT in patients with multiply recurrent Clostridium difficile infection. What were some of your key findings? Well, uh, we found that uh, uh, in these patients who on average had been ill for 11 months and on average had failed five prior treatment courses, uh, that they responded uh, at a rate of 91 percent uh, if we defined a uh, cure uh, rather stringently as cessation of diarrhea with no recurrence within 90 days after treatment, and if we uh, defined it a little less stringently saying that the seven patients in our group who failed initial treatment or had an early recurrence, four of them were then easily treated with two weeks of vancomycin, which they had not responded to prior to the fecal replacement, and two got a single uh, uh, fecal transplantation again, so that raised it to 98 percent. And I think the other issues, I guess, are that the response was durable. So our mean follow-up was 17 months, and no patient who did not require an antibiotic for another infection following the FMT developed a recurrence during that observation period. What are the clinical implications and next steps for research? Well, I think in this area, the clinical implications are now that, uh, you know, we've, we've gathered, I think, enough data to say that this is a uh, safe and viable uh, treatment method for patients who have had at least uh, two prior episodes of Clostridium difficile infection. Uh, there are now some new drugs on the market which uh, may uh, decrease the number of patients who have recurrent disease, but there will certainly still be that group, and I think that um, um, Really, I guess the take-home message is uh, it's just sad to see patients uh, undergoing the ongoing diarrhea and the fatigue and, and everything else that comes with this disease for 10, 11 months when we should be able to make a decision at about month three, at least, that uh, uh, we need another treatment such as a FMT. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Sleep.